Wiki Wiki Wiki. I'm DJ Kitty with the Zing Hoppers. It's always a lot of fun to wash your hands. And it's really, really important to wash your hands with soap and water because it keeps you really happy and healthy and it makes your hands really clean. This next song is about soap and water. Do you like to wash your hands? With soap and water. Do you like to wash your hands? With soap and water. Do you like to wash your hands? And make them nice. You see the bubbles. It's the thing that you love. To see the bubbles. Rinse away, grime and gum. And you see the bubbles. With soap and water. Do you like to wash your hands? With soap and water. Do you like to wash your hands? With soap and water. Do you like to wash your hands? And make them nice. Hi everyone, it sure is cold out this morning. Hi Miss Jenny. Oh, Miss Jenny, we're just trying to figure out what it'd be a good thing to do today. Hmm. Yeah, it's too cold to go outside. At least that's what Mom said. Could we pretend something? I like to pretend. Pretending is fun. That's a good idea, Maxine. But pretending isn't real. I want to do something that's real. Yeah, me too. Like take a real itty bitty little snooze here, huh? <laughs> Hmm, let's see. Something that we can pretend, but something that's real. I've got it. We could pretend we're in school, but you can teach us for real. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah let's do that. Oh, oh I, I like school. I, I like nap time and lunch period. I like recess the best. Yeah. I love music and art, culture. I want to learn about clothes. Okay, okay, wait a minute. If you want to play school, and you really want me to be your teacher, uh -huh. well, we're just going to have some rules to follow. Rules? Mm -hmm. The first rule is we'll all have to be mannerly and not all talk at once. Ooh. I'll call upon you, agreed? Yeah. Okay. We promise. We promise. Yeah. Okay. We won't all talk at once. That's a good idea, Becky. I think we're going to have fun today. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Very good. 
Maxine, would you lead us in our good morning song? I'd love to. Principal Henry will be here in a minute with our morning announcements. Uh, good morning, class. Good, good morning, morning, Principal Henry. Uh, Miss Jenny, uh, the morning announcements uh, are as follows. There will be no outdoor recess today due to the cold weather. The FAA, Farm Animals of America, will meet after school to discuss having a party yeah, I wrote that one. I like parties. <laughs> oh, uh, <clears throat> yeah. There will be a spelling bee this afternoon. That is all, class. Uh, go ahead and learn some stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye, Thank you. Bye, Bye Principal Henry. Henry. Miss Jenny, I bought you an apple. Thank you, Maxine. That was very thoughtful of you. What's that bag of dog biscuits for? Hmm. Haven't you ever heard of a sack lunch before? Okay, class, let's begin with our alphabet lesson. Okay. Here comes the alphabet train. Today we're boarding cars D, E, F. Daniel, Debbie, Don, David, Douglas, Darren, Diane, Dylan, Drew, Donald, Deanna, Doris, Dorothy, Denny, Dean, D, Danielle. These names begin with the letter D. If your name starts with a D... All aboard! Eric, Aaron, Edward, Emily, Elizabeth, Evan, Enos, Eleanor, Elvis, Edmund, Elaine, Eileen, Elliot, Esther. These names begin with the letter E. If your name starts with an E... All aboard! Frank, Faith, Felicia, Frederick, Ferris, Philippa, Frida, Fawn, Fritz, Forrest, Fraser, Farah. These names begin with the letter F. If your name starts with an F. All aboard! Quiet, you guys. What alphabet letter can sting you? I don't know. What letter can sting me? B. Ouch. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 that, wasn't, oh that wasn't too good, huh? I tell you what, hey, uh, what do you get when you cross an A student with an Oreo? What? One smart cookie. Oh. <laughs> You're not so funny yourself. Why did the principal stop calling the bee? I know, I know, because he kept getting a buzzy signal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, class, let's begin with penmanship. Right. I'll tell you sentences and you write them down on your slates. Ready? Yeah, yeah. The first sentence is, I see you. Okay. I see you? You see a bee. You see a bee. I owe you. I owe you. I am before you. I am before you. Don't forget your periods. Okay, show me your slates. Here's my, here's my, how'd that do? Let's see how you did, Bo. Well, Bo, there's nothing here on your slate but Several letters from the alphabet. I told you to write the sentences that I gave you. But I did. I, I wrote them in short paw. <laughs> short paw? Yep, it's a little like shorthand, except, well, in my case, well, see, I see you. You see a B. I O U. I am B for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bo, I guess I'll give you a C for creativity. Teacher, how's this? I am five. And am I? S, you are two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. I have one for you. Huh? 
Why me? <laughs> one. One. Eight. Eight. Nine. Six. Hmm. Nine six 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 nine six. Counting on manners, as read by Beauregard, and performed by Max and Maxine. In the Bible, in Ephesians chapter four, verse thirty-two, it says, "Be kind to one to another." Ready, guys? Okay, here we go. Number one: Walk, don't run. In the house, in school, or in the church house. Number two, keep your room clean. Put away your toys and hang up your clothes. Number three, don't play with your food. Number four, don't talk with your mouth full of food. Number five. If you want to leave the table, ask, "May I be excused?" Number six, cover your mouth when you cough, sneeze, or yawn. <coughs> Number seven, when you're given something, then say thank you. Number eight, and when you want something, say please. Number nine. If you don't want something, then just say no, thank you. Number ten. When you play with your friends, take turns and share. Number eleven. Never push or shove. Tom, stop it. And number twelve. Don't make fun of others. Always treat others. The way you would want to be treated yourself. Hi, I want to show you a very special orchard here on the farm. An orchard is a place where fruit trees grow. Bad trees produce bad fruit. It's sour or bitter, and you wouldn't want to eat it. But good trees give a sweet, ripe, delicious fruit that's good to eat. And because I take care of my orchard, only good trees full of good fruit grow here. Let's see if we can pick something. Okay? Can you stand up, nice and tall, on your tippy toes now, and reach real high? That's it. Now, can you pick some fruit? Did you get something? I did too. Mmm. -hmm. But there's a word written on mine. Goodness. You know, goodness means wanting to do things that are right. When you are good, you are well behaved and kind. That makes God happy. Oh, look! Here comes the afternoon spelling bee. Today's spelling word is good. G O O D. Good. Well, since it's so cold outside, we'll have recess indoors. Here's some construction paper and paper plates. We can make masks out of the plates, and then we'll use them to act out a play that Becky wrote for us. I love acting things out. I want to be the hero. <laughs> yeah, but but is it nap time yet? <sighs> do you like your preschool? Yes. <laughs> What do you like best about it? Kids. Yeah. Is there anything about preschool you don't like? Can you tell me a little bit about what you learned in school? I learned, I learned to make numbers. Oh, okay. What else? I learned to make my alphabets. What's your favorite thing to learn? Paint. Oh, okay. What do you want to learn about next? Um, um, to make tents out of out of um paper. What do you like about preschool? Well, you can play. You don't have to walk that much. <laughs> yeah, that'd be like nice. Like my mom and dad. What are you learning about? 
here at the school? I'm learning about numbers. Oh, that's good. What did you learn about numbers? How to count? Can you count for me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, oh, that's fourteen. Really good. How high can you go? How high can you count? What's the highest number you know? Um, ten. I'm learning some some art and some some play toys. And I go into centers, then I change to other centers, then I go outside, and then I eat lunch, then I go to bed and wake up every time because it's the whole same. What are you learning about in school here? Uh, mostly uh, animals. No, are you learning about animals? Okay, well, what do you, what do you want to learn about next? Math. You want to learn math? Good. You like math? Mm-hmm. How high can you count? Just tell me the number, the highest number you know. 90. Learn my numbers. Oh, can you count? What's the highest number you can count to? 21. Oh, that's good. That's real good. How old are you? Five. Oh, okay. What's five look like? Do you have five? That's what, yeah, that's five, okay. I may be little on the outside, but I'll grow soon enough. I can't do everything big people can, but I'll learn. I already know the most important thing. God loves me, and he loves you too. How many eggs are there in one dozen? Exactly. Twelve. <laughs> yeah, what is better than a horse that can count? I don't know. What is better than a horse that can count? A spelling bee. <laughs> <laughs> I got one. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Who's there? Wanda. Wanda who? Wanda play with me at recess? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Bo, what's black and has brown spots and crawls? Uh, uh, gee, I, I don't know, Max. What is it? I don't know either, but it's crawling up your neck. <laughs> hey, what's going on back here? Oh, I was only teasing, Bo. Oh, it just scared me out to death, you know. Maxwell, that isn't very good school behavior. I'm going to ask you to go to the corner and think about what you did. That wasn't very nice for Bo, and it disrupted the whole class. Uh, Bo, uh, I guess you have to take Maxwell's part in the play now. Okay. Uh. Hey, hello there, boys and girls. I have a story to tell you about a time when Jesus was a little boy. When Jesus was about 12 years old, his family went to celebrate uh, the Passover in, in Jerusalem. This was a big holiday, and everybody went. Well, uh, Jesus, uh, he didn't uh, stay with his mama and a papa. He went to the temple, and he began to talk with the priests. He asked them very hard the questions, and he surprised the priests with his knowledge of the scriptures and his understanding of, of uh, God's ways. Now, when uh, Passover ended, Mary and uh, Joseph and they left it for home. They were not worried that Jesus was not with them. They thought that he was with their relatives nearby. That night, they discovered that Jesus was not with his cousins. And they went back to Jerusalem to find the Jesus. They all searched all over the place, and then they become very worried. Finally, they found the Jesus in the temple. And Jesus asked them, why were you afraid? Did you not know that I would be about to my father's business? Then Jesus left with his mom and his dad, and they returned to Nazareth. The Four Food Groups, a play by Becky. I need to eat foods that help my body. Some foods give me energy. 
Some foods help me repair my body when I hurt myself or get sick. Some foods help build my body as I grow. But mostly I eat because I like to. <laughs> <clears throat> A balanced diet will give me the right amount of important minerals, vitamins, and nutrients that I need each day so I will be healthy. I need to choose what I eat from the four food groups. of me each day. I am rice, macaroni, noodles, spaghetti, bread, and cereal. All of my foods are made from grains like wheat, oat, and rice. Yep, and I'm the meat group. You need two or three servings from me every day. I am chicken, fish, beef, pork, and eggs. And even though they really aren't meats, uh, well, I'm also beans and peas, nuts, and peanut butter. I am the milk group. I was your first food. You should have three or four servings from me daily. I am butter, yogurt, cottage cheese, ice cream, and cheese. I help you grow strong teeth and bones. Uh, oh, my turn again. Okay, I am the fruit and vegetable group. You should have four or more servings from me every day. I am apples, oranges, watermelons, lettuce, celery, and carrots. I make good after school and play snacks because I taste good, and I'm good for you too. And now some food rules. I will wash my hands before I eat. I will try to eat a balanced, nutritious meal from the four food groups. I will chew my food slowly and carefully. And I will brush my teeth after I eat. And I will drink plenty of water every day. I can't live without it. The end. Ta -da. Very good. Bravo. You did a wonderful job. I'm so proud of you. Becky, would you make sure that everybody gets some oatmeal cookies and some milk? There was a young lady named Maud in whose diet food wasn't allowed. She ate not a kibble, not even a nibble, and now she is quite itty bitty. Hey there, little barn buddies. I'm Uncle Henry's hired hand. Here's a fun way to make puppets. Ask your mom if she has any old kitchen utensils. Maybe she'll give you a wooden spoon or a vegetable brush. She might even let you have her feather duster. Now you're ready to make kitchen craft puppets. Use colored marking pins, crayons, yarn, felt, cotton balls, and old handkerchiefs. You can make your puppets out of almost anything. Just use your creativity and imagination. Here's my spoon puppet, Beth Ann. I made her by drawing on the wood with colored markers. I made this puppet using yarn and felt and craft eyes from any art store. My spoon cowboy puppet here wanted to meet an Indian. So I turned a clean fly swatter into Indian Joe by adding yarn hair and some feathers. This vegetable brush looked like hair already, so I popped in a cotton ball for a face and made a hat out of an old funnel. This small pan is just the right size for a face. I made a lion. Cotton balls make a super mane for my lion. And here's Buster Duster. I made his funny nose out of a balloon. Kitchen puppets are a lot of fun to make. Hey, now I'm ready to put on a play. I think I'll call it Everything But The Kitchen Sink. Hi, Maxwell. How are you doing? Miss Jeannie, I'm sorry I was so bad. Sometimes I just can't help it. It just happens. I know, Max. It's hard sometimes, but it's not impossible to be good. Just ask God to help you, and He will. Here, I brought you some cookies. Thank you. I love oatmeal cookies. Mm -hmm. I know you did. 
I'm sorry you couldn't be in the play, Maxwell. It just wasn't as much fun without you. Let's go join the others, okay? Teacher, Maxine wants the littlest apple, but they're all different shapes, and I can't tell which one's the smallest. We can find out this way. I'm sure Bunny Rabbit won't mind if we use some of his water. First, we'll take an apple and put into the water just like that. You see how the water rises? And we'll mark it just like this. Then I'll put the other apple into the water and see if the water level is higher or lower than it was with the first apple. It's lower! Very good, Maxine. You see, the higher the water level, the bigger the apple. This is called displacement. The apple goes into the water and pushes the water up, makes less room. Can other things be measured this way? Yes, but you have to be real careful and make sure you have plenty of towels. You might also want to use a plastic jar instead of a glass one. Also, ask mom or dad to help you. Hi everyone, it's me again, Uncle Henry's hired hand. I have a test for you. See how you measure up, okay? What does a clock measure? Time. My bathroom scale measures. Wait. If you wanted to know the temperature, what would you use to measure that? A thermometer. 12 inches equal one foot. What do I use to measure 12 inches? A ruler. If I want to bake and need to measure some flour, what can I use? A measuring cup. How did you do? Now see how many other ways to measure things you can find in your home. How about at the grocery store? Watch and see how things are measured. What's another name for a smart duck? A wise cracker. <laughs> <laughs> what did one math book say to the other? I don't know. What? Boy, do I have problems. Get it? Boy, do I have problems. A math book, math problems. You got problems, all right. <laughs> <laughs> How does a farmer count his cattle? He uses a cow calculator. <laughs> What's your favorite Bible character? Zacchaeus. Uh, Daniel. Oh, well, tell me about Daniel. Hmm. Why is he your favorite? What did he do? You got a story about Daniel? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's the story? He killed the giant. He killed the giant? You mean David? David, mm, I did those two mixed up. Well, David, he, he threw the slingshot and got Goliath down. Can you tell me a story about Jesus you like? When he was baptized, John the Baptist, baptized him, baptized him, and the Holy Ghost came down in the form of a dove. There are a lot of really cool people on the Bible, so read it every day. You'll learn in church and Sunday school, and don't forget to pray. Well, I had a lot of fun playing school with you today. You can all give yourselves an A in pretending. In the Bible, in Psalms 119.66, it says, Teach me knowledge and good sense. God wants us to know things and to use our minds and our common sense. He wants us to learn to do the right things. But remember, the greatest lesson you can ever learn is that Jesus loved you so much, He died on a cross to take away your sins. All he wants you to do is to love him and obey him. I'll see you next time. Bye.
Okay, I already asked you one last question. Then I can go. Then you can go, all right. Xfinity, heading. Xfinity, heading. Discovery, in iCloud. Double tap to down. App switcher. Mega IPDV, active. Close Mega IPDV. Closing Mega IPDV. YouTube, current action. Close YouTube, active. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Cap Y. YouTube, YouTube. Screen recording in progress.